Hello fourth grade. Today we're going to do more work with changing mixed numbers to improper fractions. Yesterday you used models to show how you can change a mixed number to an improper fraction. Here I have one and a half and I know that two halves equals one whole. So two plus one would be three. One and a half equals three halves. <clears throat> we also drew pictures which is what you did on your work yesterday in your workbook. So if you had <clears throat> three and two-thirds. <clears throat> you had to draw four pictures because three and two-thirds is more than three. So you had to divide each of them into thirds. And you know that each hole is three-thirds. So you had to shade in three on three of three-thirds on three of them, which would make nine-thirds because three times three is nine. So here are your there are your three three-thirds, six-thirds, nine-thirds. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 more here. That would make 11. So 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. So this equals 11 thirds. Okay, we know that we have um, 2 and 3 fourths. I have to draw 3 figures because 2 and 3 fourths is more than 2. So I know that each of my holes is going to have four fourths. And I have two holes, so that would be eight fourths with my holes. So there's, that's four, and then eight fourths, plus three more fourths here would make 11 fourths. Because I know that each, each hole has four fourths, because my denominator is four. And I have two holes, so two times four is eight. Here are my eight fourths right here, <clears throat> plus, my three-fourths right here equals 11-fourths. So two and three-fourths equals 11-fourths. Right, I can do that without drawing the model. Like if I have three and seven-ninths, I know that I have three holes. Each hole will have nine-ninths. Okay, and I have three holes, so three times nine would be 27, plus seven more ninths. So 27 plus seven, would be 34. So that would equal 34 ninths. Okay, if I have 8 and 1 half, I know that each hole is going to be 2 halves. I have 8 holes. So 8 times 2 is 16, plus 1 is 17. 17 halves. So what I do is I take my whole number and multiply it times my denominator. And then I add the numerator. So that's my extra one in the last figure. So if I have eight and two thirds, okay, okay, each hole is going to have three thirds, so eight times three is 24 thirds, plus two more would make 26 thirds. So you multiply your whole number times denominator. Okay, so multiply whole number times denominator, okay? okay? You can think of that as the WD step. Whole number times denominator. And then you add your numerator, okay? Whole number times denominator, add numerator. Okay, so in your workbook on page 174, you're only going to do one through nine. This is just changing these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So number one, says two and one fifth. Two and one fifth, and this is 174. Okay, so I have two holes. Each hole will have five fifths. So two times five is 10, plus one makes 11. So this is 11 fifths. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to number five. Three and 22 one hundredths. That would be way too big to draw a model for that. So I know that I have three holes. Each hole has one hundred hundredths. Okay, so one hundred hundredths times three would be three hundred hundredths plus twenty-two would make that three hundred twenty-two one hundredths. Remember, whole number times denominator and then plus your numerator. Okay, whole number times denominator and then plus the numerator. The denominator does not change. It will stay the same.
All you're going to do is numbers one through nine on page 174.